Hello everyone and welcome to Little Branches Paper. This is Taya. This week is a special week for the studio vlog because this Saturday, it's now Wednesday, this Saturday we are launching Little Branches. If you're watching this, then Little Branches Paper is already live on Etsy. Go check it out. Down below I'll post a limited time discount code. Uh, and you can check that out for a small percentage off of your first order from Little Branches Paper. I'm so excited, I'm so happy, I can't wait. But it's not launched yet, Taya. In this video, it's already launched, but in real time, right now, what I'm going through is not launched yet. So I need to get my butt in gear. It's Wednesday, let's do this. I got party supplies. I'm gonna set up a little backdrop so that I can film a little announcement video. I'm going to make a live event on Facebook so that everybody can join in. I'm gonna have some freebies up there. So if you go check out my Facebook page, you can get some freebies and join in the festivities of the shop launch. And I really appreciate it. Head on over to Little Branches Paper dot etsy.com let's get into all of the wonderful preparations that i have to do for the etsy shop before we launch i just attempted to decorate this wall and i did a terrible job because the streamers that i have are like absolutely terrible and one of them was like jagged like maybe i can stick balloons and just have a balloon back because i do have balloons well there's more tape on me let's try it I'm gonna try to record this public service announcement. I can't wear my glasses because they are too reflective. I just wanted to let you know that Little Branches Paper will be live this Saturday at noon. Did it, I did it, I did it guys, I did it. <laughs> I have to set up the live event on Facebook, which I have never, you know, have no experience doing. Should I just do it via my phone? It's 7.30 and I really wanted to edit the vlog for last week and get it published, but it's not gonna happen. This room is a mess and it's making me feel uncomfortable. Okay, it's Thursday morning and I'm a little bit stressed. I'm stressed and I have to go to Weight Watchers this morning because I haven't been there in like a month because I was on vacation and then I just felt like taking a break. It's October 3rd and I want to launch the shop on October 5th. You're cute. Okay, I'm just gonna open up Premiere because I'm almost, I'm like this close to being done last week's vlog, this close. And so if I can finish that up and get that out of the way, then I can just focus on shop stuff and preparing for the launch. 27 minute long vlog right now. I wanna cut that down. Oh my goodness, I'm wearing the same sweater. 
If you haven't noticed already, I basically wash this sweater every single week and live in it. I'm so stressed. I'm gonna go to the grocery store first, then to Weight Watchers, then be back home, and I'll see you guys then. It's quite the angle. It's been like cold and rainy for days now. Today, what the main focus is, is working on shop administration setup. Right now, I've decided that I'm going to the grocery store. I need to get some stuff because we have one toilet paper roll between two bathrooms. <laughs> this is what happens. That's life, and just because you're trying to open an Etsy store doesn't mean you don't have to go out and buy toilet paper. So, I also have to go to my Weight Watchers meeting, which I, if you're new here, I lost uh, 60 pounds at Weight Watchers, and now I'm a lifetime member, so I just have to wait in once a month, and today is my once a month time. Okay. Safe, we're safe, we didn't get in a car accident, we're okay. Okay, the meeting just finished and I am in the craziness of the Weight Watchers parking lot after a meeting. I had a pumpkin spice latte, it was so good. Oh, I am heading home and going to get started immediately on working for Little Branches. I need to post up a vlog and I also need to do an Inktober. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is first off I'm going to just jump straight into editing. And uh, once I get that done, once I'm exporting the video, I am going to do my Inktober. It sucks that when I'm exporting a video I just have to wait for it, and my computer is kind of out of commission. But I'm hoping that Inktober will take over the majority of when I'm doing that. And then the other thing I have to do, I have to print off more sample cards because, oh my goodness, those sample cards that I made, I've just been giving them away like candy. Like when I was at the, the event last week, Planner's Gonna Plan, uh, last Saturday, I gave away a ton of them. And then ever since then, just because I have them in my bag, every time I'm talking with somebody and we land on what am I doing lately, creative, business-wise, okay, I give out one of these little sample cards and I don't know how much of an impact, but people appreciate them and they're glad to get them, so. I'm glad to give them away. What can I talk about with you that you can editing to, you can overlay this? I'll talk about my weight loss because we just came from Weight Watchers. Last year, not this past April, but the April before that, and even the March actually before, before that. So March 2018, I am overweight. I'm actually in the obese category, which is shocking, but I was. Uh, and I'm not happy with myself. I'm not happy with the way clothes are fitting me. Even the biggest clothes that I have are becoming tight and I feel out of control. I don't know what to do. I have very little discipline. I am going to the gym three times a week at that time, and I have been doing that for about six months, but to no avail. But I said to my husband, do you think I need to do more? Do you think I could be doing something different? Like, what do I need to do? And he said, well, I knew somebody who went to Weight Watchers, and I didn't even know that she had lost weight at one point because she just always was thin. And I was like, okay, and then I was talking to my mom and she was like, well, if I were to recommend one program, I would say it's Weight Watchers because I know that they just teach you a good food education. And I was like, okay. 
I was like, okay, Lord, you're trying to show me something. I get it, but I need one more person to just confirm this. And I thought, you know what, I'll ask my coworker. So I asked my coworker and I said, do you know anything about Weight Watchers? She said, well, when I was, I don't know, a teenager, I think she said, when I was a teenager, I did Weight Watchers and I've kept it off ever since. So with that, I decided, yep, this is what I have to do. I went in and I uh, got signed up end of April. 2018 and I gave myself a year I did have 60 pounds to lose and I said okay you know what it's realistic it's not overly pushing myself but 12 months a year that's about five pounds a month right if you do the math on that yeah that's about five pounds a month which is completely reasonable and some months I lost seven some months I gained some months was just uh, a small loss but anyways over the year I did I did it I lost 60 pounds long story short once I hit that goal I thought wow what could I do in another year and that's what led me to say in another year I think I could open an Etsy shop I think I could start my own creative business venture and here we are that was the end of april this year that i achieved my goal i bought myself an ipad and things have snowballed that was six months ago that i hit my goal and now i'm halfway through the year that i said i would open an etsy shop and i'm just when you set your mind to something and when you actually I don't want to say believe in yourself because that's so vague and it just means very little nowadays. But when you don't give up on yourself and when you build on your experience instead of building up and then just letting it drop away after you don't succeed for a while, if you just keep on pushing at it and you remember your why, I think you'll get somewhere. I know you can't go backwards. You won't go backwards. You can only move forward from there. Let's get to work. So in order to use my computer, I have to wait for this to stop encoding. And I'm guessing it's gonna take at least another hour for it to export. I can't risk opening up Photoshop and having everything crash. So I'm gonna just look at what else I have to do. Oh, I did some of these things. Check some stuff off my list. I decorated the wall last night. Okay, I can look at shipping strategies because I think I can just browse around on the internet lightly and it wouldn't break anything. Like I hope that that wouldn't make my video fail, but as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear that, my computer is already like taking off. Let's start doing something. can do that I discovered I can do is adjust all of the shipping costs so that they're fixed costs on my listings and I remember that I took a bunch of photos like when I made that light box I took a bunch of photos and so I'm going through and getting the good photos and attaching them to the listing so that there's one photo that's more, I don't know, stylized. And then every once in a while, I can kind of play around with how my thumbnails are and see how that is. Although I'm pretty happy with my thumbnail format now. But it's pretty cool to have an additional photo. Apparently, it's really good to fill out your photos area. Let's keep working. Oh, Taya. Right now my shop is not live. This is what it looks like. So I'm just adding products right now. I only have five of them up there right now. And just going through. Oh, we're on past two of two at 62%. Amazing. People are crushing it on Etsy. 
I want to be one of them. I'm willing to work for it. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. So many people are amazing. What is this? Somebody's having a sale. Where did I just see what I just saw? Thought I just saw something that I wanted to see, but now I can't find it. Okay, perfect. This is what the back end looks like right now. I have all of my sticker sets that I have actually like tested and printed and made thumbnail images for and everything. So music, travel, garden, prayer, sleep, book, and friendship. So all of those things are now listings and like I still haven't pressed like the, you know, I have to do the setup billing and then I can like put my shop live. It's like seriously all coming together. Uh, the video is, oh look at that, 99% on past two of two. So it's almost done. And then I can start uploading it to YouTube and I can get going on organizing some sets. Another thing that I did is I set up my shipping strategy oops oops there we go perfect i'm so thankful that i did that but i did it so oh look at this i already did this too i did that inktober i did it amazing uh perfect so we're on track Whew. yo guys i've been working Here's what we have going on. Um, here's what we have. I have made, so these three are like, I know all one design on there, slightly different colors, but I think I wanna add a few more of these sheets because they are important. Like, are you really gonna want a bunch of different water bottles? I mean, there's some big ones and there's some small ones, and I think that that's good. Meal planning, I mean, that's a lot of meals. Here are all of the uh, the ones that I have. So that's 11 different sticker designs and I feel like that's really good for starting off, but I also want to have, also want to have a bubble tea one and a coffee one and a tea one. So I don't know if I should just leave it like this, get the listings updated and prioritize that on these ones. And then maybe tomorrow I can work on those ones and those ones can be pushed out like a week after launch. It, I don't know. Uh, just because I feel like if I'm setting up, oh yeah, I also have the laundry one that I made before, so I need to complete, so I have four that I have to, they're ready in Photoshop, I need to get them ready in the, the Silhouette Studio, and then I have to make the listing photos, and I'd like to print test them and photograph them, oh my goodness. All right, we're pushing it, we are really pushing it. It's quarter to five. I have to get in touch with Louie and see if he's okay with us getting getting something Subway or something. So he's totally fine getting dinner out. So I don't have to make dinner. It's quarter to six. And my plan is to completely finish all of these guys, all of these ones that I have open to get all four of them formatted 
And then to go in and actually format one bubble tea, tea, and coffee. And I would love to launch with 14 products. I think that would be amazing. And then of course I can build up, hey, I have never showed you my Trello. Oh my goodness, let's do that. So this is my massive Trello board. At the right hand side, I have all of the sheet, wait, all of the sheets that I have formatted and like the listing has been created. Oh, I created two new listings today. So these have been created. So formatted in Photoshop because these have now been formatted. This one has been formatted for Cameo and I'm in the middle of formatting this one for Cameo. And also, this is formatted for Cameo. This is after I print tested it. This is once the listing is created. And uh, so, formatted for Photoshop. Then we have what I call next in line. So these are the ones that I have like, I really need to get them done. Like those are my next priorities after I finish doing the ones that are in this one. Meal planning plates, I didn't put an image in there yet. So that's what I do as well. That info. So I just take one of them. I don't, I was putting all of them. I'm just gonna do one just so that I have visual representation of what that was. And now the plates, wait, make cover, okay. Then you have the cover photo on there so you can see it visually. <clears throat> then I have a column for self care based sticker sheets, travel. These are all the sheets that I am thinking about. Basics, Erin Condren kits, I do want to make Erin Condren. Christian life based stickers, motivation, God's calendar, and then one that's like archived. Like I had this sticker design and then I made it and I'm not really happy with it. So I just kind of shelf it for now. So those are, that's my intense workflow. Let's go make a tea or coffee. It's almost six. I can't have an actual fully caffeinated coffee. So I would just have a decaf maybe. Maybe I can make myself a fancy, huge decaf with pumpkin spice flavoring. Let's do it. Also, it looks like I have like a fan crown. <laughs> pretty happy and blessed that I can work in this space on the regular. So let's get back into making cut files, yay! Okay, now it's 7.30. I have prepped four, all four of the new sticker sheets, laundry, meal planning, traveler's notebook, water bottles, they're all in Silhouette Studio set up, ready for me to test them all out tomorrow. That'll be great. I'll just do a print run. It'll be amazing. Since I don't have to make dinner and Louis's not gonna be home for like another hour, I am going to prep in Photoshop three more sheets. We'll see if I can do it. Coffee, bubble tea, and just tea. Do you see my little lanyard that I got from Planners Got a Plan? It's so cute. I I loved it. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. I got to talk to people and meet some 
creators, some vendors, and it was so much fun. I don't think I talked about it yet, but it was great. What do I have to do? Well, I did format sheets, so I can fully check that off. And now I'm just going above and beyond. I'm just watching vlogs. I feel like I'm going a little bit loopy. And I want to take you guys along with me tomorrow, so this is not the end. Normally, this would be where I'd end the vlog. You just see Thursday, and all you ever see of my life is Thursday. But to this week, you got to see Wednesday and Friday because I want to show you everything that I'm doing, like this little frantic pre-launch time. This is for me. I mean, I want to show other people, but like this is kind of for me because this is a special time in my life. Like, hey, future Taya. This is a special time. You're looking at this. I haven't launched a shop. I haven't launched the shop yet. So it's kind of like this little time capsule of this is what was going on with me before I launched the shop. Laun before I launched the shop. That's more of a tongue twister than you think it would be. Just say it a few times before I launched the shop. Oh my goodness, okay. Time to get some other sheets prepped. This is like, this is the fun part for me. I like prepping them in Photoshop. It's the silhouette studio part that I find so tedious because I have the four colors. Just listening to a podcast and making the coffee Photoshop file, and it's going a lot slower than I wanted it to. And I think Louie's home with my dinner, so I'm gonna stop here. I'll show you coffee set oh i love it so i'm just working on the black and white lines now you can see some of them are coming in and uh just doing the brights palette and then once i finish the brights palette i have a photoshop action and then it creates my other two color schemes and i have to do the black and white ones manually okay my dinner's here bye